What's up, YouTube? This is um, Miles coming back. Today we have a special project or another project. We are going to be building uh, door panels on my boy's um, GMC Sierra truck. He said he wants a four tens and um, two eights and two tweeters per door. And I mean, we can make it happen. You know what I'm saying Ain't nothing that we can't do. Um, we want some wrapped in vinyl, something to match this color. Um, so we're gonna um, pretty much clean up the door today, get her taped up. Um, it was raining a little bit today, Florida. It wants to get cold, but uh, it rained earlier. And I gotta make fiberglass molds. Look, look at my baby. I gotta make molds of the actual door. But since it's a, it's it's not chilly out, but it is a little bit. Um, it wants to get it, you know. But look at them clouds, and I gotta do fiberglass, and you know fiberglass is, um, don't work good in, in the cool. I mean, we can we can add a little bit of a extra um, hardener in it and um, get it right and um, make it kick so it it does what it do. But that'll make it warp, and we we really don't want that. So really what my plan is today to um, get it ready for, um, to make the mold tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning on both of them. And today I just need to get them prepped up and everything. So um, tomorrow morning we can get banging on them. We're doing um, a PRV 10W650A4. Probably four of them, yep, do you see it? Then we're doing another four ohm eight inch AMB 450. And then we are doing the uh, PRV TW 700 Ti. Um, this is what my boy wanted to use on it. He said he already had the stuff and uh, he just needed me to do it. And you know, here we are. Um, for this project, we're gonna need a couple little things. I'm gonna show you a couple brief stuff real quick what we're gonna do use to uh, prep this door but let me show you um, I think this is audio pipe or pipe man or whatever it's the same stuff I get the rings from them so they come out perfect everything um, you know you got the two tens the two eights the two tweeters so everything's ceramic like you know symmetrical perfect I'll probably cut like the corners of these just to give it a different look so it's just not square you know, I round over all the edges so the fleece can grab it good right here too. You'll see in a whole nother video. Um, let me tell you a quick little process of what we gotta do. I'm pretty sure throughout the time, my boys probably put like armor all and all the shine stuff on it. You know what I'm saying? So it looks good, but you know, that's not a good friend of what we're trying to do. We have to taper up. So we got to tape the whole door up so we can lay fiberglass mat so we can get the actual mold of the door. Then after that, you know, shape it to how we want it and place our rings on it, you know, and then fleece it then fiberglass it. He's going to get vinyl, but I'm still going to fiberglass it a little bit heavy so it, it's strong. You know, we, I'm going to use Duraglass so it gets even stronger since it's vinyl and not paint. We don't require um, the top face of it to have fiberglass mat. But we still want her to be strong because you never know, you know, them nights you get crunk. Um, you slam your door, you turn the music up, you throw your door open, you know, whatever the situation is. We need a strong so they don't mess up on my boy. Which is, I think, uh, seven mils on the back. I got to take this carpet off because I don't think the tape would stick to it good. Um, stuff that we're going to use the cleaner with. First, I'm going to go ahead. This is just soap and water. I drink a lot of coffee, so this is what it is. You gotta do soap and water, clean it off, clean it off really good, you know, scrub it. I got one of these um, scrub pads, I forgot what you actually really call them. So it can really get inside the pores and get all that, uh, you see all that grain and all the pores get inside there and get all the grease and gunk out. Then you gotta fill up my alcohol bottle, spray bottle. 70% to make sure we get that top layer off after we, we um, clean it with soap and water 
and to make sure it's just like a real dry surface. Um, so then we can go ahead and tape it. You know, I got a few little things of tape right here. So it has a few layers of tape. So then when we go um, make the mold of her, um, the actual fiberglass does not stick to this part right here. So then we can slide it off, you know, shape it. You know, it's probably going to have, it's going to definitely take this shape. Um, for my time building door panels like this right here is always a nightmare, but we can make it happen Ain't nothing that that can't be done You know Take that whole shape um, Then after that we put the rings on it and we put the fleece, but you know, we'll so a quick idea so you know what we got going on with her We'll probably do Exactly, we have going on. This is probably not going to be exact thing, but you never know. It's just with the space that I have to work with as soon as I go get it in there and start doing something up. But this is a, a shape that it could take, you know, right before we actually start getting on it. This, this is a shape that it could take. You know, we're gonna wrap it in vinyl. Also, let me get back. So we put the rings on top of the the fiberglass mold. We, uh, you know, glue them down. Whatever we we use, I got that two part spray. It's like a glue in and a in a activator. That's to hold it on. Then you know I'll come through and put little blocks of um, wood with um, hot glue to hold them in place. And then after that, we go ahead and fleece her and cut it out cut everything out um the idea ideal would be idea would be to put the molds back on the doors and fiberglass them on there so it gets the shape of the actual door so it doesn't warp or taco and then so then when it, it the door gets finalized um it sits on like all these edges like really badass you know and so there's no lift spots or nothing but i mean we, we, we've done plenty of these so you know they, these are going to be fairly easy there's everything's still hard but i mean i've done so many of these type of doors um they don't even phase me like these doors will be done quick fast and clean um then get the vinyl probably tuesday wednesday and try to have them done by wednesday so i can get them back to my boy um he has to get his truck painted um i think i got a video i'll probably post it of his truck he's gonna get new wheels and everything and then so then he can be on the road getting it you know, um, so from here, you know, so let's get to work.
door panels right now. Like I said, there's not, no sun outside really. I mean, the sun wants to come out. It, it is out, but it's starting to look a little bit better. It was looking nasty earlier. But, um, you know, waiting for them to dry up really good so that, state, that tape can uh, stick real good. It already has the, the dull look that I was looking for. Um, like the flat, there's no grease, oil, armor on, none of that stuff on it. But um, I just wanted to lay on some stuff on some people real okay. quick. Like I said, this is the FYI. Um, I'm 36 years old. My birthday was last week. But honestly, I've been doing car audio since... Whew, man... Uh, I can't even sit here and, and, and tell y'all what age I really started messing with this stuff. My uncle used to have a little cars, and I started washing them, cleaning them, you know, liking cars, and little by little. I got a little bit older. You know, lowriders were the thing back in the day. Um, they used to have the cars with the Kregers and the Supremes on them, I think that they were called. Man, you know, and here, Bradenton slash Palmetto area, man, all right, car game. All right, um, but anyways, um, I've been doing car audio honestly since I was probably what, like 11 years old, like really like cutting wood and splicing wires. I used to take the uh, speakers out my people's um, cars, switch them from the other radios. My dad, you know, he knew he what he was doing, you know, with the stuff too, and you know I'd see him and I thought it was the baddest thing in the world. So, um, you know, here we are today, um, many years later. Um, but anyways, um, just like how I said, you know, my dad on my other video that I'm fixing to drop today with, you know, saying don't forget to view, like, and subscribe. Don't be scared, you know, because we've been doing a lot of, like, crazy stuff that you'd be like, damn. But anyways, you know, like I said, I, I'll put my dad up against anybody, you know, that does body work. Sandin, he works at um, a company called Yellowfin with Boats. And he's like a big dog there. He's been there for like numerous years. I'm talking about numerous years. So older than, than, than people's kids, you know. Um, but anyways, you know, he does a lot of like fiberglass, sanding, buffing, you know, all that stuff. Like a boat doesn't leave there without him, you know, giving the go ahead. But just like he always tells me, you'll never be a professional and um, charge what you want to charge with being, you know, a, um, an organized, clean worker. You know, that man stands all day for like eight, ten hours and doesn't, you know, I never see him whenever I see him um, with Bondo, you know, his shirt covered up with this, that, you know what I'm saying? He goes to work in some Reeboks, you know, clean, you know, he comes out clean because he knows what he's doing. And with that being said, you know, as you work, you know, just clean up your area, you know what I'm saying? Just clean up your area because then, you know, it makes you just want to work more. A lot faster to clean up you don't have to worry about this when you're done you know what i'm saying you're more organized you know just clean up you know what i'm saying you know just, just clean up throw stuff away organize your tools put them away wipe stuff down especially right now with the coronavirus you know it, it, it don't hurt to be clean especially nowadays with all the stuff going on but we still have time and you know like we were still able to you know get it a little bit but you know that was my piece of advice you know anything that you work mechanic wise car audio wise cleaning your yard anything you do you know just clean up as you go so then it's not a big like oh man i gotta still clean and all this stuff man forget all that you got you got time to do some other stuff you know just you know but let's get back into the video right now next letting these guys dry up real quick then we're gonna throw the tape on them make sure we mask them up pretty good depending on how the weather looks like the hot point it gets over here around like four o'clock so if i can actually fiberglass these guys at four let them sit overnight, acetone, wash them in the morning, get them sticky. Tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day. We can lay some rings, probably even have them fleece. And then if we can have them glass by tomorrow, that would be fucking, I mean, that would be badass. So uh, let's see what we do. You know, let's get back to work.
taped it all up. This is what it looks like. It don't even really matter what, how good or, or whatever, as long as the tape's covering up the plastic surface. You know, the door panel's gonna get like the edge. When we uh, trim it down, it's gonna follow this body line or this dur door line. I gotta put tape and put newspaper, paper, whatever, plastic, so whenever I lay the mat down, um, I don't get nothing on this stuff because um, that's definitely gonna be plastic and the new pod, door panel, whatever you wanna call it, it's gonna sit on top of it because of the mold. It's wrapped in vinyl and fastened through the back. But that's what uh, we're looking at. Tomorrow's video um, is gonna have me uh, laying the mat down, giving a tutorial on how to lay the mat down or what we do from here. So you guys have a better idea. So when you guys get to it at the house or whatever you gotta do, um, you guys got an idea and you guys can work with it. Like I said, I'm not the best in the world, but I have worked from what I consider the best in the world. I've been seeing stuff all my life, seeing all these cars online and all this stuff and seeing them in person. And I can say I've worked with the best, the best. And you know, you learn a thing from them here and there, you know, but um, that's it for now. I'm signing off to check tomorrow's video, dropping another video of the headers on my truck that we did yesterday. Don't forget to, to like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you got to do, share. You know, it's about to get real. Um, just so you guys know, my truck's trying to get done for the Super Bowl. We live in Palmetto, Florida. Tampa's probably like an hour away. You know, that way. Skyway is actually literally that way. Um, St. Pete. We live right by the water. Um, we out here getting coronavirus, you know, free. Trying to get it. You know, just stay tuned.